Hey guys, Jake from Fish for Feather here. Today we're setting up uh, an enclosure for a blue tongue lizard. So basics, really basic setup, what our units and what our setups come with and how to set it up. Let's get it started. All right, so here's the products that come with our blue tongue setups. Um, this is basically a, a very standard basic setup. We'll go through the products, what they do, why we use them and so on. Substrate, Chipsy. We use Chipsy in our setups. There are a few different options you can use as well. Sometimes we'll include include Critters Comfort, which is a coconut fiber. For today's setup, we're gonna be using this. It's a little bit more dry, a bit easier for, for cleaning. So that's Chipsy, that's the flooring. You want a loose substrate with your blue tongues, they like to burrow. If it's just like a, a carpet or fake grass or something like that, they can't actually burrow. And that's where you end up getting sad lizards. And a lot of the time they end up sitting in the corner of their cage with their art, the back arch like that. And it ends up creating a kink in their spine, which is obviously not good for them. So loose substrates is always uh, uh, recommended for blue tongue lizards. We also have some uh, fake plants, artificial plants. This is just to stimulate, I guess, more natural behaviors. And rather than just a plain enclosure with a hide and some, some substrate, it gives them hiding spots, visual barriers and stuff like that as well. So that's why we include some foliage. Foods. So lizard food, this is a pellet. This can be available inside their unit 24 seven. Uh, and then we also include a can of snails. So this is a really good treat for blue tongues. They absolutely love it. It's probably their main diet in the wild along with vegetation. Um, and then besides that, you also feed them greens, lettuce, uh, not, uh, so iceberg lettuce is not good, it's just water content, but other leafy greens, so rocket, spinach, kale, uh, and then just chopped up carrots and everything like that. Hides, obviously, gives them a visual barrier to get away from our beating eyes that keep looking over them, and again, gives them somewhere to hide so they don't sit in the corner of the cage and kink their back. Obviously, given food bowl, water bowl, Feeding them on a food bowl stops them from uh, consuming some of their substrate, which can sometimes cause impaction. So that's why you feed them on a food dish and obviously water bowl, pretty explanatory. Now the units also come with a UV light. We've already got one set up inside this tank. You can see the tank's lit, lit up and heat lights. Obviously reptiles are ectothermic, they're cold blooded. It means they rely on external heat to function and to actually be able to survive basically. So we'll include the heat lights, set them up in a second. Uh, but let's get into setting up the tank. Our lizard units, they're made out of melamine. Why is melamine a bit better than glass? It holds the heat much better. If you have a straight glass tank, it's going to cost you so much electricity to actually keep that tank warm because your heat's just going to be escaping. With the melamine, again, it holds heat better. Our units also come with a built-in thermostat. So that's already wired up, as simple as just turning your temperature to what, set, what temperature you need it set at. And it has our two heat lights included as well, heat light fittings, I should say and the UV light fitting as well. So that's why these units are great. Everything's already there, plug in and play, ready to go, and holds heat much better. So you're not gonna be doing nowhere near as much in electricity. Um, so let's get kicking to setting it up. All right, adding your substrate. First step, easiest step. Plonk in your bag of substrate. Okay, now that your substrate's in, this is where you let your imagination run wild and set up the tank how you like it. So I'll start uh, by adding the hide, simple. Um, the hide, you can place it anywhere in the tank that you want, obviously. I'm going to go more towards the middle. That way with one of the heat lights, it can act as a basking spot as well. So it can literally sit on the hide. It can absorb some heat. Your water bowls, you want away from the heat light. Otherwise, the heat is just going to evaporate the bowl and it's just going to become empty faster. So we always do that furthest away from the heat lights. Food bowl doesn't matter as such, but we'll pop in this corner near the thermostat for, for today. Pop onto this side. Now let's add some of our decoration. So tall plants, you want to avoid being close to the heat light so it doesn't burn it. So we'll pop it at this end and we'll just bury the base into the substrate a little bit. Make it look a little bit hidden, nice and simple. And these lower plants you can pop wherever you want in the tank. So we'll add one here, one on this side, very nice. And I'm actually going to include uh, a bit of driftwood, again, to provide as a basking spot for the said lizard as well. So we include that here, like that, nice. And then this plant can go in this corner. All right, there's a very simple setup, nothing special. This is where your imagination sets it up for you. All right, last step to setting up your enclosure. Add some food, add some water, and we'll include and add our heat lights. So let's add the bowl of lizard food, the pellets, 
Again, this is something that can be offered 24 seven. You'll just replace on top up or if it gets dirty. Um, childproof packaging. So just add the bowl, top up the bowl. This can also be included when you are feeding your salads. You can literally just mix this in with the salads as well. Um, so you, you could have two different heat, uh, two different uh, food bowls as well. You can have one for food, uh, like your salads, and you can have one for your pellets as well. Now let's add some water. Little jug here, fill up our water bowl. Very simple, nice and easy. That will do. Now you can also include obviously snails. We're not going to open this can today. There's the snails. Adding the heat lights. Now I do recommend using a rag or a cloth to wipe down the surface of the globe after you've used it because our oils in our skin can create a hot spot which can cause the globe to blow. Now let's add that to the tank. Now use the, use the cloth, give it a bit of a clean, simple as that. Now that they're in, you can then use your thermostat, set it to the desired temperature. For a blue tongue, we're going to be setting the thermostat to 28. So come here, twist that. You see our lights turn on. That's now sitting at 28 degrees. So once the unit hits 28, it's then going to shut off. This ends your cool end. It's going to be sitting around 24. Your mid temperature is going to be at 28 degrees and under the heat lights when they've been on, they're going to be getting a 35 degree basking spot, which is perfect for your blue tongue lizards. Guys, like always, remember this unit and everything for your reptiles needs are available on our website. Um, if there's something in this video or in any of the videos that you see uh, that isn't on our website yet, don't forget you can always message us via Facebook or give our store a ring. We do free delivery up to 20k from our store um, and also click and collect is also an option as well. And that basically concludes this video. Um, one quick thing to mention is the fact that this setup we've done here is a three foot unit for 90 centimeters. That's the bare minimum you want to do for one single blue tongue lizard. Any smaller than that is too small. Ideally a four foot, but again, you can get away with the three foot for your blue tongue lizards. They can reach anywhere from a small lizard being 30 centimeters, anywhere to 50 to 60 for large specimens as well. So keep in mind, three foot smallest for an adult blue tongue lizard. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave some comments down below what you guys want to see next. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. See you in the next one.